I would seriously question the sanity of anyone purchasing one of these freaky figures. It's the kind of thing you would find in Ted Bundy's personal art collection. So I'm at 798 R District in Beijing. It used to be industrial area, factories, etc. But now they've turned it into a hipster place. So these factories were actually a joint venture in the 1950s between China, East Germany and the Soviet Union. At the time there were a futuristic network of electronics factories with bright red Maoist slogans on the walls. This provided the perfect backdrop for many VIP events, including the visit of North Korea's founder Kim Il-sung. How cool is this? Great right, selling vinyl out of a little truck. That's pretty cool. It looks like I've got some classics in there as well. The vinyl unplugged, ACDC. I mean, that's cool. And then we've got a bus. It'd be cool to paint the bus. I would like to paint the bus myself. That would be cool. School would have been much more fun if they were painted like this. I wouldn't mind getting a school bus if it was like this. So you've got a comic strip and a kangaroo. Watch out, Rolf Harris must be around here somewhere. So just in front of me, we have one of them pieces that you know you've seen it before, but you don't know where, and I wasn't expecting it. But it's this huge piece on the wall here. It's like everyone taking photos of. So that's like one of them photos. I've seen that on the internet before. Just never knew where it was. So I think that's like the iconic picture of this area. So I always carry some stickers around when I'm at the art places. Just a stick on. We've got the Trump one again putting a M up there there. If you spot one of my stickers around the world, let me know in the comments below. I'm liking this piece, it's got like an old school feel about it. And up here you've got a character that's like a typical New York character. You know, from the 80s, something like a Shane character that you would see on the trains as they ride through. 798 Arts District is now one of Beijing's most cosmopolitan neighborhoods thanks to an explosion in recent years of restaurants, cafes, galleries, boutiques and studios. It's like China's version of Shoreditch, I guess. It's now visited by over three million people a year. I would seriously question the sanity of anyone purchasing one of these freaky figures. It's the kind of thing you would find in Ted Bundy's personal art collection. Whatever you find good street art, there's always someone that ruins it by tagging something ridiculous. In this case, it's da -da 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 -da. Batman. 
Yeah, I don't think he'll be having an exhibition here anytime soon. China's graffiti subculture is growing pretty fast. And surprisingly, from past events I've been to, there's a lot of female painters involved as well. This area is pretty big, this 798 district. Certainly it's small. I've been walking for probably an hour. I don't even feel like I'm halfway through yet. Okay, now I'm starting to see some higher quality street art. This looks pretty dope. This is by a crew called Blood Bro out of Wuhan. They do a lot of traditional Chinese elements in their artwork, mixed with Chinese cartoon figures. They're munching on the Beijing hot pot. If you're not familiar with what a hot pot is, it's like a big pot of boiling soup, and you toss in your own uncooked vegetables, seafood, meat. It's very popular here. This is some nice lettering over here. This is by an artist named Rice. Tidy straight lines on this piece. Nice choice of colours as well. Let's take a walk over here. Shame about all the cars in the way though. This is pretty cool. Looks like a panda with a beanie hat on. You know, I'm liking that. Street panda. Uh, in Chinese, the word for panda is Shong Mao. Shong Mao. So I'm just about to go and link up with a friend who's actually painting here today. Goes by the name of Aze Rocks, and he's also from the UK. He's going to be painting with a few of these guys who've done these pieces over here. Uh, they're all highly skilled artists, so let's see if we can get some nice footage of these guys in action doing what they do best. Chinese trains. This used to go 100 kilometers an hour. It's been replaced now with bullet trains to about 350 kilometers an hour. So these used to be like 20 hours, 30 hours, one side of China to the other. You can do it a lot quicker now.